coach. First of all, I want to wish you a healthy and happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you appreciated the present from your team. No, yeah, yeah, I told them this, this counts for my midlife crisis, so I'm all set from there. But yeah, these kids, I mean, you can't ask any more of these guys. What did you say to the team half time? Uh, a lot of things. <laughs> that you can um, repeat. No, I, I, you know, it's kind of, I don't know if it was a self fulfilling prophecy or, you know, or what happened, but when we, when we were at our, our team meeting last night after uh, position meetings, I kind of brought up the, these guys are a little young to remember, but the, but the Buster Douglas Mike Tyson fight from back in 1990, and how you know Mike Tyson was the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, 37 and 0, 42 to 1 favorite, and all those things, and you know that uh, in, in, in the sense that I didn't want us to be too overconfident, and I didn't want us to take our opponent lightly, and um, you know what I said at halftime was that we got ourselves back into the corner and we had to punch our way out, get into the middle of the ring, and find a way to deliver a knockout punch, and uh, you know they did. Do you think there was a sort of a loss of momentum coming off the bye week? I don't think so. I, I, you know, there were certainly some execution issues. I mean, we had however many yards we had at, at halftime offensively. We were moving the ball, I thought, pretty well. But we had a couple of uh, red zone turnovers there that you know, didn't allow us to capitalize on scoring opportunities. And defensively, we, uh, you know, we just need to get some things cleaned up. I mean, they, you know, they do a good job scheming. Uh, Coach McKenzie does a great job putting you know, those receivers in position to be successful. They run good routes. and. They, you know, the kid was finding groove and finding rhythm. So, um, you know, we find ourselves down 23-7 and 23-14. And, you know, that's, you know, got to be able to handle prosperity and adversity. And that's the other thing we said at halftime. We, we, we got ourselves a good handful of adversity, and we got to figure out what we're going to do about it. So. Mike, tell me about uh, the offense today. You personally set a uh, well, single game passing record, and you guys as a team set the uh, record for total yards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I think offensively, I think we were we were we were really fresh, and I think you, you really kind of saw that you know, with the seven hundred seven hundred yards. Um, you know, I think I thought we were moving the ball really well today, but uh, you know, we had those three costly turnovers, and we were having you know, we were having trouble punching it in the red zone. Um, you know, if we're going to win, you know, a lot of games moving forward, we really have that's something we have to clean up and address. Um, you know, we can't be driving ninety yards and then get stoned you know, inside the red zone. So. I think that's what happened today, but um, you know, ultimately we stopped ourselves. But we came out to win, so that's all that really matters. When you threw that interception, what were you trying to do? <clears throat> Look like? I was actually trying to throw it out, throw it out of the back of the end zone. Um, I kind of got hit as I was throwing it, so I couldn't get enough on it. But um, you know, that's that's what happened. Uh, Carlton, after the fumble, what uh, what was going through your mind coming back onto the field? Was, I mean, ended up. Being a big uh, part of killing the clock at the end of uh, uh, you know, finishing the game. Right. Well, I mean, what's going through my mind was, hey, I mean, next play, I mean, mistakes are going to happen. We talk about it all throughout the week, throughout the game. Hey, not every play, you know, it's not acceptable. As coach likes to always say, I mean, it's not acceptable. But you know, there throughout the course of the game, you know, stuff's going to happen. Negative plays are going to happen. So the key is how do you bounce back from that? So you know, I was thinking to myself, okay, well, you know, I made a mistake. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. You know, I mean, don't change anything I would do. Just you know. Ball security, job security, so they secure the ball and uh, you know, just extend and do what we're doing. Uh, we're running the ball, offensive line moving guys off the ball, so all I gotta do is just take care of the ball. So that's really all I was thinking about, you know, just to make sure that, you know, I, as I'm running, not to get the ball. So that's all that was. Those turnovers really, were they just bad luck? It seems like, like Mike City, yeah, you got hit, you know. It, it's not, I mean, I guess a combination of both. I mean, the, the, I mean, the turnovers are the turnovers, but. You know, the things that we talk about offensively and defensively that um, have the greatest bearing or effect on whether you're going to win or lose the game, obviously scoring offense and scoring defense, but right below that is turnover margin and explosive plays. And very rarely are you on the, on the bad end of a three, it's a three to one turnover margin. So uh, I thought that showed, you know, the second half by a team I thought showed outstanding character that you know, every game's not going to be a 52 to seven or 52 to whatever victory that, you know, it, it was good for us to have an opportunity. Obviously, you don't, you'd prefer not to have it, but it, it was great for us to be able to find a way to battle some adversity and claw back and, and, and uh, you know, have all three phases of the game contribute to a win at the end. You talk about the game that uh, Stephen Hodge had 15 tackles, which is absurd. I mean, the kids, I mean, the kids had a phenomenal season. I mean, it's the same linebacker position. He has a tremendous opportunity to make plays. Coach Blackwell does a good job putting him in position to to affect the game in a positive manner, and you know he's 
you know, with the loss of Mike Martin from last year, he stepped in and, and, and done a very admirable job. And, uh, he's a playmaker. I mean, he's not the biggest guy, he's not the fastest guy, he's not the strongest guy, but he's a football player. And he, and he finds a way somehow, you know, you look in the street clothes and you guess he's a starting linebacker of an no team. And I'm not trying to be funny with this. I mean, it's true, but, you know, the kid, the kid knows how to play the game of football. There's something he said for that. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.